first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so before having our first live class for this year ibbs exam on the topic aptitude so before having that live class so here we can have a first revision class on the topic problems on ages so before going with every live classes we can have one previous class with a revision on the same topic because if you recall all the important concepts and important thing on that topic so that live class will be definitely helpful for you so here is the first class we are starting for this year ibbs exam 2024 exam so i hope all the best for all your preparation so start your preparation because two to three months of time we have for rrb and five months we have for IBBS exams. So IBBS clerk and IBBS PO. So which exam you are targeting is most important if you are preparing only for RRB clerk and IBBS clerk. So keep on solving on all the miscellaneous topics on quantitative aptitude little bit easy level i'm talking about the prelims exam right so prelims exam for rrb clerk or ibbs clerk you can able to see the question level will be little bit easy if you are preparing for rrb po and ibbs po for the prelims exam you have to prepare little bit medium level questions right don't keep on concentrating on the easy level if you are preparing for the po level exam for the prelims exam itself i am saying so keep on uh, solving some medium level questions on all the quantitative aptitude topic as well as a reasoning topic if you are preparing for uh, mains exam if you clear the prelims exam then definitely you have to prepare for the art level right so each and every topic you should prepare like this so depending upon your exam depending upon the level is important and then this will always need it this category is always needed if you are going for the mains exam so here in the problems on ages on the live class tomorrow or day after tomorrow we can go with the live class on that live class definitely i will teach most of the question will be in the medium level not easy level right so i have a revision if you are first time learning this topic problems on ages do not forget to watch all the videos of my uh, problems on ages that is in my youtube channel so if you go to my youtube channel you can able to find a playlist problems on ages i've posted four video introduction about problems on ages average age most important concept twice thrice that is also most important and then doubt session so do not forget to watch all the four videos on my youtube channel if you are first time preparing this problems on ages topic right so now here we can have a very small revision about problems on ages so that we can recall all the important concepts and then we can go with the live classes on day after tomorrow so students those who are attending the problems on ages live class have a revision or else just look at this complete video right so first if you take problems on ages three things are most important one is the present so second is the past and third is the future right so the question will always depend on these parts present past and future and we have to find the given age whether it is present or whether it is past because that will not be directly given they will say after 10 years so the word after determines the future so similarly ends ends 10 years ends the meaning is they are talking about the future 10 years ago so 10 years ago the meaning is the past so they are talking about the past age or 10 years back so and then ends after ago back so these are the words are always important in the topic problems on ages and one important word that is since so since is also important so you have to understand what is called a since so uh, for example i can say one thing when you look at any uh, traditional hotels very old hotels so uh, near the hotel name you can able to see this since 1962 since 1950 what is the meaning of it so the hotel was started on 1950 so till date it was running so the meaning here of the since is from 1950 till date so from the past to the present that is called a since so since 1952 since 1962 the meaning here is they, they started from 1962 until date it is moving on so the word since in most of the questions on problems on ages is most important right because the students will make a mistake if you find the word since so i will teach you how to solve a question that is based on a since right so and then if you want to practice right how you should practice the problems on ages initially is so just first go with the number right example one 
with your age, take your age, right? my age is 31, right? So 31. After 10 years, what will be my age? My age will be 41. 10 years before, what will be my age? My age will be 21. So from this present age, what will be my age after 3 years? So after 3 years, my age will be 34. From this point, what will be my age before 7 years? So before 7 years, right? My age here. So from this point, right? After 8 years, what will be my age? So keep on writing like this. Only on the term of numbers, right? What I did. So this will be the one way to understand the topic problems on ages after writing this the second scenario you have to practice the same number right the same concepts everything make it as x my present age is x i don't know what is my age so from this point keep on going like this 10 years after 10 years what will be my age x plus 10 10 years before what will be my age x minus 10 Right? So from this point, after 3 years, what will be my age? X plus 3. So from this point, what will be my age 7 years back? X plus 3 minus 7. Understood or not? Right. So first example, so write it in the term of number. Keep the present age as a number. In the second example, practice like this. Keep the present age as X. And then solve all the similar data here also by keeping the present age as x so you can understand if we if we don't know what is the present age how to proceed it if you know the present age how to proceed it right so these are the two techniques that you can easily understand if you write these two correctly then 80 percentage of the concept is over on the topic problems on ages right so and next importantly so this will be the basics of problems on ages and next importantly the concept that is on problems on ages is the average age so average age concept plays a major role, right? Major role on the topic problems on ages. You can able to see the question like this, 30 student and a teacher. The average age of 30 student and a teacher is 40. Average age of 40 student and a teacher is 20. The question start like this. So always remember that a teacher, the meaning of a teacher is only one teacher we have. So the total number of students in a classroom, including a teacher will be 31. Because 30 students and a teacher, one teacher. So 30 plus one will be 31. Sometimes in the question they say 30 students and teachers. So at that point, we don't know how many teachers are there. So we have to keep the teachers as x so this word a is most important and similarly was is also important so he was at the age of 20 at that time the so meaning here is he was so ago right so 10 years ago he was at that age so these are the words will be most important here so if you take an average age question on the topic problems on ages be careful with these kinds of words a teacher was the, the it was 10 students in a classroom so understand that what they have given whether they are talking about the present or they are talking about the past that is most important right and then average age concepts we usually frame an equation and then we solve a question and second importantly more this is most important two times more three times more three times the age of the son so those concepts are important i can write two data here so father age is two times that of a son so one thing and second is father age is two times more than that of his more than a son so there is a difference between these two words right so here you can able to see two times only two times we have but here we have two times more the concepts look similar if you read this sentence and this sentence you can able to see there is no change right but remember one thing because of the word more the complete equation might change so here let let me keep it as son age is 10 if son age is 10 what will be the father age father age will be 20 because two times the age of the son so if son age is 10 the father age will be 20 but here when you keep the son age as 10 father age will not be 20 the father age will be 30 why because two times more the meaning here is two times that is 10 two times will be 20 and then 10 more so 30 so this is the thing what i thought on my video while teaching problems on ages uh, twice thrice concept first i have told this how to understand the question 
and then only you should know how to solve the question that is based on that twice thrice etc right so that is most important in this topic problems on ages average age is important two times more three times more so those concepts are important the age will be thrice or three times the age three times more than the age so each and every word is important in the topic problems on ages right so that's the reason i'm just keep on uh, recalling all the important things and then uh, the things that are important here is yes this this is recent time i'm saying a recent time the most important thing is a person for example uh, my age is 31 right let me keep it as my present age is 31 years so this is the present age. What will be my age six years back? So what will be my age six years back? It is easy to find. Just 31 minus 6, 25. So 25 will be my age six years back. But recent years, we can able to see the bank exams question that is based on six years, six months back. What is the meaning of it? So what is my age six years, six months back? So for 6 years it is easy, you can subtract 31 minus 6. So here we have additional 6 months. The meaning here is 31 minus of 6.5. Why? Because 12 months we have considered into 2 parts, that is 6, 6 months, 6 months. So we have to write it as 31 minus of 6.5. So friends, understood or not? This is the way you have to solve the question. So this 6 months, do not write it as 6.6. I have seen most of the students will write 31 minus 6.6 don't do it so 31 years six years back what will be my age minus of 6.5 so this six months can be written as 6 by 12 yes or no 6 by 12 will be 1 by 2 1 by 2 is what 0 0.5 so 6.5 so you have to write it as 6.5 seven years six months back what is my age so seven years six months back will be 7.5 consider like this don't consider at 7.6 that is most important because a recent year in two years in our bank exam prelims question as well as in some mains question we can able to see the concepts is based on a month basis usually the problems on ages will be in the form of years six years back 10 years back is age ratio was 2 is to 3 etc but here some recent years when we look at the questions the questions are based on six year three months back is age was in the ratio 3 is to 2 very interesting right so whenever you see the month divide by 12 if you can't able to understand how i return 0. 0.5 so do one thing if you find it in the term of months so divide the month by 12 6 month 6 by 12 which will be 1 by 2 1 by 2 is what 0. 0.5 so 6 0. 0.5 will be 6.5 so subtract 31 minus 6.5 that will be my age 6 years 6 months back so friends understood right so this is also one important uh, concept and then the students usually make mistakes on problem on ages is the most important after finding the answer i've seen many students will go with the wrong option why because they will find a present age for example after solving all the question we will get a value of x so that value of x mostly just check what they are asking in a question whether they are asking a present age or they are asking a past or future because we would have found the answer of future and we will search in the option but the question they will ask the past age so we have to find the past age not the future age similarly most of the students i have seen they found the they usually after solving it they will find the present age and they will mark the answer but in the question what they will ask is the past age 10 years back what is the age of the father so you have to subtract with 10 so always remember that after finding the answer so read the question once again and check what we need to find and which person age we need to find because many times i have seen the question will be based on father son father son father son at the last they will ask a ratio of son and father so we would have found the answer three is to four father and son and then when you look at the option the option will be like definitely the answer is one option will be three is to four we will go with three is to four but the when you look at the questions properly and all the data they will be giving you for father son but at the last they will ask a ratio for son and father so we have to interchange the ratio so at that point we will make a mistake so keep on solving more and more number of questions only then you won't make all those things in the exam because of that time everybody we do all those things if you take rrb club we have only 
45 minutes of time you have to solve 80 questions so at, at we speed definitely we will make all those mistakes so that's the reason i'm saying keep on practicing right so students those who got that uh, bank exam 2024 on my platform we are giving you a daily test first and then uh, we have uploaded rrb a po 15 practice set so do not forget to write it so i'm repeatedly saying that alone practice only makes you to clear the bank exam or else you can't because i've thought everything time and distance time and work uh, average age uh, average concept per permutation combination when you go to my channel you can able to find all the topics all the topics starting from lesson one so you have learned all the things so now what you need to do is go with the practice so only if you practice more you can able to clear the bank exam keep that in mind for the mains exam you have to study more right so friends thank you so much for watching this video and see you on the live sessions on day after tomorrow that is on the topic problems on ages right so thank you friends thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share the video to your friends those who are preparing for the competitive exams so thank you so much bye